Hello and welcome to Northeast Media Hub, the fastest growing digital media platform. I am Adalbert Khar with the latest Hub news. Be informed, be alert. With the announcement of elections, while the political parties are busy strategizing to win from their respective constituency, the Gen Z, who are first-time voters, are promoting the Mera Vote Desh Ka Liye song through Insta Reel stories and YouTube shorts. The year 2024 marks a significant milestone for India as it gears up for the Lok Sabha elections. Amidst the political fervor and campaign buzz, there's a particular group of individuals who are experiencing a unique blend of excitement, responsibility and anticipation, the first-time voters. For these young citizens, freshly bestowed with the right to vote, the upcoming elections hold immense significance. Security forces have seized 70,000 Yaba tablets valued rupees 3.5 crore in Tripura, Sepahi Jala district during a raid on Tuesday. The person from whose residence the contraband was seized has been identified as Idrish Mia, resident of Shobhapur in Sepahi Laja. Additionally, Indian currency totaling rupees 2,23,800, consisting of denominations of 500 into 330, 200 into 197, and 100 into 194, was seized along with the vehicle valued at rupees 8 lakhs. The total seizure amounted to rupees 3 crore 60 lakh 23,800. However, no suspects were apprehended as they had fled before the team arrived. The seized items have been handed over to the police and a case under the Narcotic Drugs and Psychotropic Substances NDPS Act was registered by Sonamura Police Station against the owner of the residence. Further investigation is underway. In a tragic incident, four internally displaced children aged 4 to 9 years lost their lives after drowning at Tuitha River in Tuibong, Churachanpur in Manipur on Tuesday. The children were staying at ECA Cannon Locality Relief Camp. The four deceased children have been identified as Leng Chonghoi, age 9, Lalil Chung Lupo, age 6, Thong Gao Ho, age 4, and Thong Kao Ho, age 6. Sources said that the children went for washing at the river during the absence of their parents. The deceased were taken to a hospital for autopsy, and after the medical process, the bodies were handed over to their parents. The election notification for the Tura parliamentary seat has been announced today through a notification in the Gazette of India and aspiring candidates can now file the nominations for the contest. Nomination papers may be delivered by a candidate or any of his proposers to the returning officer in room number 101 of Deputy Commissioner's Office, Main Building, West Karu Hills, Tura, or to Srimati Pratilisa K. Sangma MCS, Assistant Returning Officer at room number 112 of Deputy Commissioner's Office, Main Building, West Karu Hills. Hills, Tura between 11 a.m. and 3 p.m. on any other day other than public holiday not later than 3 p.m. of 27 March 2024, Wednesday. The process of filing of nominations began on Wednesday after the issuance of the notification for the first phase of Lok Sabha elections scheduled on April 19 for 50 northeastern states. Of the 15 Lok Sabha seats going to the polls on April 19, five are in Assam. And there are two seats each in Arunachal Pradesh, Meghalaya, Manipur, one partly, and one each in Mizoram, Nagaland, Tripura, and Sikkim. The last date for filing nomination papers for the Lok Sabha and the assemblies in Arunachal Pradesh and Sikkim is March 27, and scrutiny of candidatures would take place the next day. The last date for the withdrawal of nominations is March 30. The Supreme Court agreed to list for hearing on Thursday a public interest litigation or PIL against the practice of political parties promising freebies during elections, a significant development that comes ahead of general elections beginning April 19. The PIL also seeks a direction to the Election Commission to invoke its powers to freeze the election symbols and cancel the registration of such political parties. The Apex Court took note of the submissions of senior advocate Vijay Hansarya, appearing for lawyer and PIL petitioner Ashwini Upadhyay that the plea needs to be heard before the Lok Sabha polls. Thank you for listening to Hub Podcast. For latest news and updates, follow us on www.hubnetwork.in. Download Hub News app in your mobile from Google Play Store and Apple App Store. For promotion and publicity, write to us at info at hubnetwork.in. Thank you. Kublai Shibon. Meet Tela. 